All right, so where is this all leading? This is um, a dynamic model of how the dollar will collapse, and it's, it's pretty simple. Um, so to make up numbers, 311 million people, it's a nice round number for a population in the United States, of case one, case two. For any of you who are physicists, uh, deal in um, fissile materials or other dynamic critical state systems, this will all seem like very familiar stuff. So T is a threshold. T is a level where uh, that's my threshold. So when I see somebody act in a quantity greater than T, I act. So case one, we're subcritical. So what happens is a thousand people um, uh, reject, reject the dollar, right? So a thousand people reject the dollar, but for the next group, uh, they're, um, sorry, did they do this right? Uh, oh no, so 500 people reject the dollar. Um, but, uh, and then at that point, um, I'm sorry, let me just, I'm sorry, there's, there's my premise. So, okay, assume 100 people repudiate the dollar. So this is what happens. 100 people reject the dollar. Well, when 100 people reject the dollar, there were, the next 1,000 people had a threshold of 500. In other words, if 500 people reject the dollar, they would reject it also. Their critical threshold is 500. But what happened is 100 people rejected the dollar, it wasn't 500, it fell below the critical threshold, so nothing else happened. That phenomena died out right at that level because that number is less than that number. Now, let's change it. And I'm only going to change two variables. I'm going to make the 500, 100 over there, and I'm going to make the 10,000, 1,000. But the, the bottom three are the same. Everything else in the system is the same. Now, 100 people reject the dollar. Well, what happens? Well, at 100, you've triggered the threshold for 1,000. So now 1,000 people reject the dollar. At that 1,000, you've triggered the threshold for a million. Now a million people reject the dollar. Now the next threshold was 100,000. Well, we had a million, so we're over that. So now 10 million people reject the dollar. At 10 million, you've hit the next threshold, 100 million. The next threshold was 50. We crossed that with 100, so 200 million people. In the aggregate, the entire population of the United States rejects the dollar. This is exactly like you're in a movie theater, and three people get up, and they run out. You say, that's odd. But you sit there. You're like, your threshold is, is higher than three. You just think it's odd, but you don't want to get up and run out yourself. But now you're sitting there. Ten people run out. You're like, something's up. They know something I don't know. The place is on fire. I don't know. I'm out of here. In other words, there's an example where at three, you, you haven't hit my critical threshold, but at ten, you have. So it's exactly like everyone running out of a crowded theater. It's exactly what happens in a chain reaction. You know, a 35-pound block of uranium in a cube is pretty harmless. You'd have to eat it to get sick. But if you shape it into a softball in a barrel and put it in a tube and fire it together, you can blow up a city. Same uranium. It has to do with the array uh, and uh, how you start a chain reaction. This is how you start a chain reaction in the dollar.